TGIF. I know what you're thinking. It's Friday. Why is it not party time? Well, as fate would have it, next week is actually the week leading up to my birthday. As such, every day will be a different party deck. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. It's going to be a blast. So I figured today, let's just finish off my historic week with one last historic deck, one of the only archetypes we haven't really touched on too much. Burninator. Burninator in the countryside. Chandra's Incinerator. Have you seen this card? 6-6 six, six for 6. With Trample, of course. Cost X, Colorless, Lex, to cast. Where X is the total amount of non-combat damage dealt to your opponent this turn. Then, it actually turns all non-combat non non damage into the Searing Blaze effect. Deal it to the player. Deals it to a creature or planeswalker that player controls. Fantastic card. Fantastic card. Doesn't get a lot of love. Let's see if we can get it out. Cheat it out early. Supplementing this plan of Incinerator, who would not be known as Suburninator. We got Thermo Alchemist. God, I love this card. I played a deck with Thermo Alchemist and, um, what was it? The, uh, oh, the barrier. I can't remember the name of cards when I need to. Nope, it's not there. Electrostatic. Electro? Ah, Electrostatic Field. I played a deck <laughs> back in um, Standard where, or maybe it wasn't Standard. I forget, but had Thermal Alchemist and Electrostatic Field. Actually, it might have been Historic, early Historic, but it was just like, just every every spell was just ping, 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 ping. But focus. Thermal Alchemist. 0-3 Defender for 2. Taps deal 1 damage to each opponent. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, untap them. Simple enough. We have Burn Spells supplementing so that we can go turn 2 Thermal Alchemist. The ideal uh, time, and I think the only time, we're going to be able to pull off Incinerator is turn 3. It's usually on the back of either one of our 2 mana and one of our 3, excuse me, 2 damage, 1 mana spells, and one of our 3 damage, 1 mana spells into Chandra's Incinerator or Thermal Alchemist pairing with either of these. So it's like Tap Deal 1, Shock Deal 2, Deal 1, and then the Pillar of Flame dealing the rest, or... It works on its own with a three mana spell. It's a shame that's a shaman and not a wizard. That always bugged me because it should be a wizard, but if it were a wizard, it'd probably just be too good, man. It's too good as a wizard. Speaking of wizards, we got our G2 Lava Runner and our Soul Scar Mage complementing our wizard collection in order for Wizard's Lightning to do its thing uh, alongside old Grim Lava Mancer. Uh, Pillar of Flame and, Slo and Shock are our uh, one mana, two damage spells. Pillar having the Bonus of exiling things if need be, but also being sorcery speed. In our three damage slot, we got Skewer the Critics and Wizard's Lightning. And Bone Crusher Giant kind of playing an in-between slot. Now, this slot is entirely up to you. Some people play um, Bomat Courier. I happen to have none. And as everyone knows, I'm incredibly stingy on my wild cards, especially when a new set is coming out. I've even stopped spending gold. Not interested in anything. I'm waiting for all the new stuff because Strixhaven, particularly the Mystical Archives, looks phenomenal and i'm going to need every ounce of resource to be able to get all that together so i personally am going with bone crusher giant i do like it in this uh meta game it's a solid threat stomp takes care of a lot of things what's going on <laughs> oh the memes anyways um stomp does take care of a lot of things number four three is a formidable threat so Feel free to experiment. This is definitely the slot where if you kind of want to mess things around or, like I said, play Bomat Courier or, um, you know, you could play the Flames of Keld. You could play the Electrostatic Barrier. You could just play more Burn. It's entirely up to you. That's that flex slot. I personally like Bone Crusher Giant um, the most. Now, even though we are Bond and Eta and the main deck is quite mono-red, we are splashing green for Clothis and Cindervines. I love Clothis. I think Clothis is just a powerhouse. It's it's one of those cards that's just so subtle in that if it resolves, there's a very good chance you're going to win the game. Like a very good chance. Or I should say, if you see it across the board and you don't have a plan for it, there's a very good chance you're going to lose the game. Unfortunately, we don't have a plan for an opposing Clothis, which is annoying, but the closest thing we've got is Rampaging Ferocidon to cut off the life game, but can't imagine a deck playing Clothis where we'd bring in Ferocidon. Yeah, who knows? We might run into it. Uh, Cinder Vines, phenomenal. Uh, Two-mana enchantment. Whenever opponent casts a non-creature spell, they take one, and then you can sack it to destroy an artifact or enchantment with an additional two on that. So 
This card seems like an MVP. We, of course, have Graph Digger's Cage and then Magma Spray. Magma Spray is a bit of a, a flex slot. I almost think it should be something like Crush the Weak. I don't know. This is definitely a flex slot, though. We may change that depending on how our games go. Magma Spray is really good against things like... only thing I can think of off the top of my head is Woe Strider. Wolf Strider, the cat. Maybe this should be something else. I will think about this. In fact, that slot may change before we go to the first game. I guess we could brainstorm it right now, but that just seems like a waste of time. So, uh, I'll tell you what. We're going to say get to the games. I'm going to sit here and think about it for a second. And if I pop back in and say, I changed it to this, then you'll know it. Otherwise, let's get to the games. Burninating the countryside. I did end up swapping out the Magma Spray for a braid. Again, I wasn't... <sighs> It's like back and forth on what I want to do with that slot. I'd love to play, but we'll see. Eh. Okay. It's a little meh, but that's okay. It's It all depends on what our opponent's up to. This could be great. This could be garbage. If our opponent is... um, Ooh, he's got his kind of dime. I got mine too, but you know me. Always go with the old US of A. Yeah, I mean, it's got threats. And we don't exactly have... Our plan A here. But who knows? Our opponent could just be weenies or something where Stomps will just get the job done back by that. So turn one, Soul Scar Mage. Then turn two, either Stomp or Lava Runner with the Stomping Ground tapped. And then we just start Stomping, Prowessing, Stomping, Prowessing. Hopefully draw some burn. Burninating the countryside. Burninating all the peasants. All right, what do you got for me, opponent? Hmm. Interesting. A snow-covered forest. Yeah. Just going to follow that plan. Just get in for one. Nothing too crazy. This is a G2 Lava Runner. Soul Scar Mage. Oh. 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 Stomp, 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 stomp. Let's go light up that stage, baby. Ooh, can we do it? Stomp, skewer, oh yes. Incinerator's coming, baby. Oh, well, now we can't. So we gotta kill that. Play the mountain. Can we do it? Stomp his face. Skewer his face. Then play the incinerator. Do we want to let him untap with an Elvish Arch Druid? What's the worst that could happen? He untaps. He plays Collected Company. <sighs> Might just have to lose it. Yeah, we can't let him untap with that bad boy. I know it's so tempting. All right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. I'm sitting here debating between skewering. Eh. We're about to be out of stuff to do, though. Not gonna do you know what? No. Knock him to ten. I'm debating here if I wanna just if I wanna skewer his face for one or if I wanna save it for the damage for next turn. Cause he's gotta play something. But if he does play it, it'll be instant speed. I wonder if I'll regret not skewering now. Ah, let's just do it. That does stink. Bye, Chandra's Incinerator. You would have been fantastic, but we had to kill that Arch Druid. All right, show me what you got. That's a Realm Walker. Now I regret it. Should have seen that one coming. Thermo Alchemist. Oof. Well, that is a beating. Now we're out of stuff to do, eh? All right. Oh, what a beating! We had a good start, but we're just not pulling enough burn here. And he's got the Arch Druid off the top. Oh boy, this is about to get very messy. Yep. Oof. 
Oh no. Oh, and I hear a train coming too to make things worse. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this for a Holy crap. Well, that was insane. Well done, opponent. Well done. Jeez. Wow. Well, yeah, we just really ran out of steam there, didn't we? Holy crap. Our opponent certainly didn't. All right, so we're bringing in their braids, bringing in the Graph Digger's Cage for Collected Company, and probably if he's playing Greater Worth Behemoth, and he's probably playing um, Finale of Devastation, so hopefully we can hit both. What are we taking out here? Uh... So do we need a braid? Well, we've got... I mean, we ran up steam that game, which stunk, but I think what I'm going to do is... I don't want to get rid of our three damage spells. Might just be Bone Crusher Giant, because it's the least efficient, which is a shame, because I'm bringing in Cage, I'm taking out Burn. All right, let's try it. Dang, I cannot believe that. Well, opponent showed me, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, I got burned. He's like, nah, dog. I got Elvis Charge Druid. Okay, I'll be on the play. Ugh. Okay. It's a little iffy. And by a little, I mean it is quite iffy. Yep. Ugh. The last thing I need to see is land. Yep. All right. Shall we dance? So. I don't have a wizard, though. Let's see, so. Am I going to let him untap this clan caller? I think I have to. All right, let's see how she does. We got Ramanapa Ruins, Wizard's Lightning, and the Incinolator. All the Shards, Druid, you got it. Burninating all the peasants. Burninating all the people. Oh, that was dumb. Should play the Soul Scar Mage first. So that way, I don't think it's gonna matter. Peace. Yeah, baby. Best part is with the Soul Scar Mage on the battlefield, the this will permanently result in a minus one minus one counters. But then again, could just get stomped. Not with the giant, of course, but sure, collected company it up, baby. <laughs> oh no, we either whiffed or it was uh just had a quick. Alright, so Boninator's pretty good. <sighs> Incinerator is pretty darn good. I don't think I'm going to change anything. Still need the cages for the uh, Witchamajiggers. Alright, yeah, let's run it back. It's going to be a big difference between winning on the play and the draw. That was pretty sweet, though. Incinerator. Ooh, baby. Hmm. But yeah, as I was saying, the um, I should have played the Soul Scar Mage first. It didn't matter because I was wiping his board no matter what. But that way, the minus the the pinging damage would actually come in the form of minus one minus one tokens. So they would stay. The minus one minus one counters. Pardon. Your opponent is choosing which player I will play first. Ooh yes. Take care of his stuff and Thermo Alchemist and Incinerator. Yes, please. That means. 
That means we're guaranteed to turn three incinerator as long as we, you know, live that long. We can shock his first couple things. We don't need those. All we need is the alchemist and the uh, skewer. Yep. Let's play the runes. Nothing too scary. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Hmm. Hello, hello, there we go. So we got Thermo Alchemist here, set up for the incinerator. The Elvish Arch Druid, you got it. Okay, so. We'll go ahead and deal one here. Go ahead and. Skewer the critics, untap. Deal one here, play the incinerator. Shock is dome. <laughs> and pass. Not bad. Not bad at all. Incinerator. You got it. Elf. Yeah, deal in one, but it doesn't matter. Go ahead and attack six. See if he wants to give me the free one. He does not. And in the turn. He's at two. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully it involves haste. It does not. Not today, elves. Not today. Oh, incinerator. Gotta love it. F F T G I F F. I would love to. Dog door was a man. Oh, I mean, he was a dragon man. Maybe he was just a dragon, but he was still dragged. We're really banking on this light up the stage, hitting more lands. It's the only reason I kept this hand. We've got Wizard Lightning and Pillar of Flame to call to. Uh, uh oh. Ugh. Well, this will be a nice Pillar of Flame target, eh? Which stinks. Well, actually, you know what? Let's see if he blocks. He does not. Perfect. All right, come on, baby. Daddy needs a land. Get rid of that guy forever. Lovely. Whew. That worked out. Now Lava Runner will have haste, which is nice. We can be able to play the Lava Runner. Play, stomp, whatever. Attack. All right. Ooh. Do we have enough to do it? Three... Then he costs three. We do not. What can we do here? We do not just yet. So we can just play our normal threats. Go. Yeah, now we're, we're, we're short. We had the pillar we could have, but then again, who cares about that? Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to play the second Soul Scar Mage. No, you know what? I'll hold up the stomp. Let's see our opponent's plan. Ah, you know what? Let's go with the second Soul Scar Mage. I'm going to hold up the Wizard's Lightning. Just in case, like, a Mayhem Devil or something jumps out at us. Something spooky. Woe Strider's pretty spooky. Get rid of it before you can take advantage of any kind of sacking shenanigans. Nope, still can't do it. So maybe a mistake, but let's just do this. I want the prowess. 
But now we're running out of stuff to do. We've got the Ramanapa ruins, but we need another land. Our opponent could just Coco. Binding the old gods. Sure. That works. Hmm. Well, just keep the threats coming. All right. Show me what you got. Collected company is probably the worst case scenario here. But if he collected companies, then all we need is a land, because he'll only get... Well, no, he can get more than two threads. <sighs> he did not have it. All right, so this looks like Junsack. <sighs> so Junsack, what do we want? We want the Clothis. We want the Cages. We want the Abrades. I don't think this is Incinerators. Well, it's 50-50. It's like I like Incinerator, but I don't know if this is the match for the old Burninator to shine in. What else can go? Bone Crusher Giant can probably go. Need the Braids. Need all the anti graveyard stuff. Yeah. I like all the burn. Need two more cards to get out of here though. I want two cards. I like Pillar. I like Lava Mancer. Hmm. This be interesting. What two cards do we take out? I guess of all of them, Bone Crusher is probably the weakest. Even though it has a 4 3. Yeah. I mean, we could keep it over and. Nah, nah. We'll play it we're on about like this. Yeah, I just don't think the Incinerator is going to be as good here, even though it is quite good. I could be wrong, though. It depends. If we see things. Hmm. Nah, it just depends. We'll see what he's got. Okay. We will keep it. Turn one Soul Scar Mage, turn two uh, either Pillar Mage or Shock is pretty good. Hmm, I wonder if I should hold that. Yeah. We'll hold it. Clothis could show up. I sense a fatal push. I must be psychic. What else could have been holding a stick? Mm hmm. <sighs> hmm. Do I sense another? That's the question. Nope. Okay. Mayhem Devil. Alright, well, we'll take the... We'll see if he'll give me the easy way out. He will. Hmm... Let's just go ahead and play the Graph Digger's Cage, just in case next turn was him, uh, was him cocoing. We are missing land drops, which is unfortunate. Yep. Hey, look at that. Light up this stage, baby. Let's keep it going. Okay. Cool. We got another light up stage on standby. Oh, here comes Corvold, maybe. If he has Corvold, what do we do? Let him sack lands, but what else? It's just a Soul Scar Mage, bro. Oh, snap! All right, well then. Do we want to light up the stage or do we want to bone crush? I think. I 
I don't want to lose this, so. Okay, a braid and pillar of flame. That's not exactly what I was looking for. So let's do it this way. Okay. Maelstrom pulse. Did not see that one coming. Dirty pool, old man. Maelstrom pulse instead of the cage. I guess we'll get this out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We gotta end this. Alright, so we got Pillar of Flame and Jingatha to hold the fort. There it goes. Adios, Junsack. I'm assuming his hand was a bunch of cocoa, so I have a feeling that Grap Digger's cage did some good. Yeah. Holy crap. It just, they must know my birthday is coming. Maybe not. I can present to you the perfect hand. Who needs resources? Better. I'm going to put the incinerator on the bottom, which is tragic. Don't take it personal, boo. I'm serious. Don't. Soul Scar Mage! Azorius Sleeves. Not good for the home team. Ah! Stand corrected. Cycling! Well then. Hmm. Is this going to hit me for three next turn? Then we can just kill it the turn after? See if he wants to trade. He does not. Smart boy. All right, this is a threat. This is time for threats. We gotta kill our opponent before he finds Zenith Flare. Unless it's, you know, something else, but no, it's definitely not. Huh, cycles two, it becomes a three. Okay. Cycles 2, it becomes a 3-2, right? Yes. I had like a brain fart moment where I was like, oh my god, it's not plus one, plus one, right? No, it's plus one, so. Yep, so he'll get to kill probably the Soul Scar Mage, but it's fine. Keep going, man. Nope. Does what he has to do, saves it for the fox. That's fine with me. No, no fox. Just that. Yeah, we're just going to play the Giant. I need It represents more damage than the Stomp. He's got Cycling. we got to end this as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible, since I have no refillability or nothing. So, man, I did not... I thought about... Oh, so what do we need here? we got Rampaging Ferocidon, Clothis. Oh, boy. It's going to be interesting. Yes! Cycle Power. Miss your land, miss your land, miss your land. Do it, do it. Nope. Keep it going, brother. Oh, snap. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. If I can kill one of them, make my guys big enough. Hmm. Well, then. The hollow one plan. So I can shock one, attack with all. Okay. Let's see what he does here. Double hollow one. Oh, he's just taking it. I sense a zenith flare coming. Right. Do I want to skewer him down to nine? Sure. Okay. Yeah, Zenith Flare would kind of end my day. One. 
but he has to cycle to get to it. All right, no Zenith Flare yet. Silly shock holding priority. Why do the double hollow on flex if you're not going to block? What is he up to? B aggressive, B E aggressive. No, he's not even doing it. What is going on? That's pretty good. Okay, I think I'm just going to go a repeat of the previous, except. Should the lava runner get in as well? It's a free block. Sure, especially since we're about to play a Grim Lava Mancer. Yep. Here we go. Does he have the flare? And how big is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well then, rude, but acceptable. He's playing the good version of the deck. Man. <sighs> now we can be Zenith Flared to death. All right, so let's see. Unfortunately, Incinerator has to come out and uh yeah in this case if he has the zenith flare we have to wait yeah no blocks you're good man Down to five. Yeah, he had it. Cool story, bro. I can only hit him for four, unfortunately. Okay, so. Clothis. Do we want the Ferocidon? I don't think so. I just really got to play around certain things. I think right now Clothis is the best thing. Zenith Flare. Yeah, he's not casting things. He's not doing anything with his graveyard. This is good for, um... Oh, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> The Savior. So we had the flare. Yeah, we just had to wait. He was smart enough to play around it. So that means damage can't be prevented at this turn. I'm trying to think if I want to take anything out for two more Ferocidons. Is a Ferocidon better than a Bone Crusher Giant? I don't think so. All right, let's just run it like that. Let's hope we can get an early Clothis going. Unfortunately, I did not even pack my uh, Soul Guide Lantern, so that might have been a mistake. Maybe I should have done that instead of... No, because Cage won us the last one. Cage is better. Yeah, we just got to... We got Clothis. That's about it, so... Got to be quick. <sighs> sure. Again, we're banking on Light Up the Stage doing something and our opponent not stopping it, but we do have Wizard's Lightning to clear the path and then light up the stage hopefully to find some lands so yeah could be good could be very good or we could just get destroyed because zenith flare is a house i do have a pretty sweet mardu cycling list because i wanted to test out uh faith of the devoted it'll have to wait till the week after next since next week is party time week it's got the fox Since I drew the land, I think I'm actually just going to play the Alchemist, but let's offer the free trade. Okay, 
He does not interested in the trade. So the scariest thing that could happen here is a 3-3. Yeah, we'll just play the Alchemist. We can kill that at any time we want to. There's no Street Wraith or anything, so the biggest this Fox can get is, in fact, a 3-3. Yep. Nope. I'll take three. We kill him next turn. Or I'll take one. I like taking one. Another fox. Ooh, fancy. All right, well then. Let's start here. Light him up, up, up. Light him up, up, up. Light him up, up, up. I'm on fire. Oh, 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 If you get the ping, I mean, I could have done it in response to the trigger, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so ping him for one, end of turn. Yep. Might get Sweltering Suns. Well, he can't Sweltering Suns without killing his own fox, which I'm okay with that. But we'll see what he's got. Alright, no Sweltering Suns just yet. God, why does he keep looking at the Alchemist? Up to four cards, five cards. Can we just get this out of the way now here, please? Jeez. Yes, you got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, this is not looking good for the home team. So what do we got here? I can try to burn him out. One, so three, six, seven, eight, nine. I can then for nine, ten, eleven. No, not quite yet. Not quite to the burninating phase. So, what do we do instead? Sweltering Suns is coming. We can already tell that. So, I think we just hold the Lava Runner back and just try to burn them out. That's just it. 4 8. This 13. If he's got it, we're doomed. So, I don't think I can play anything here. I think I just have to pass. Yeah, I'm not even going to play the Bone Crusher Giant. We're just going to pass. He's got the Sweltering Suns plan. I don't think we can beat this. Not with this hand. And he has Zenith Flare. Oh, boy. Well, he can't do both. But if he Sweltering Suns were just dead. I mean, we can burn our way out of it. Baffling end. Sure. So he's not doing either plan. Okay, well, here's what we are going to do, kind sir. All right, let's just top deck any of our burn spells, and we'll be good. Yes, be afraid. Be very afraid. Now, nah, just go to four. He's at three. Close, but no cigar. I get in for two. And then we die, right? Unless he plays with the creature. Yeah. don't think there's a way out of it because we have to block everything next turn ah just needed a burn spell almost got there a burn spell or a land no a land wouldn't have done it we needed a burn spell unfortunate so what do we do lava runner yeah we need two threats so we got to go lava runner into giant ah. we can get in but it's not enough Man, so close! Just one more bird spell. 
Don't care. <laughs> that was a rough one, not gonna lie. All right, and we are back for the final wrap up here. And well, that was awesome. I really do think. I mean, that uh, oof, cycling's a tough matchup. We just, I mean, you saw how close it was there. All we needed was one, one of our burn spells, and we'd have gotten there. But it's between sweltering suns and all that, it's like, ooh, yeah, it's tough. It may have been a mistake. Well, it doesn't matter. I would say it may have been a mistake not to have the Soul's Guide Lantern in the sideboard, but and maybe that's what this slot should be. But as you saw, like, it didn't even matter. I mean, Hollow One, Flourishing Fox, they, they just... They don't have to do Zenith Flare if they don't want to. They can just beat us down and then Sweltering Suns are bored away. So that's that's a bit of a rough matchup. Yeah. Incinerator really doesn't do anything in that matchup, which is unfortunate. So overall, though, I mean, we are we were kicking a booty, so... I love it. I love Bone and Ata. So this is your jam. I definitely recommend it because it is a fun time. Otherwise, we'll see everybody next week for Party Week. Teaching you how to have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.